Hey, this is Dave Vincent with WPH Live TV. Welcome back. Today we will show you how to view ESPN programming from a PC or a laptop with their Watch ESPN app online. I'm using Google Chrome while on a PC with Windows 10. As long as you have the latest Adobe Flash Player 10.2 or higher, plus a few other specifications that we'll go over at the end of the video, you should have no problems. So let's get started. First, make sure you know your cable or satellite TV's login credentials. If you don't, then they are pretty easy to find out, especially if you pay your cable bill online. If I ever forget, I simply just type in my cable provider's URL and login with my username and password. Of course, if you forgot what that was, just ask for it. If you have not registered an account with your cable or satellite TV provider, then you probably will not be able to view ESPN's online Watch ESPN app or their series of channels. As you can see, I have logged in with my DirecTV account and all is good. My username and password combination work out. Therefore, in theory, if you use one of ESPN's recommended providers, then you too will have the same success. And DirecTV is one of their providers. Next, I will type in watchespn.com and immediately click on the schedule and replay tab if I want to watch an upcoming live ESPN stream or a past stream. ESPN calls these replays, I call them on-demand videos, but who's keeping score? Now, go to the network's drop-down section. Select the channel you want to view. I'm selecting ESPN3. From there, click the sport that you want to watch. I choose the sport of handball. Now, you can pick replays, live now, or the upcoming schedule. Don't be alarmed if your event is not showing on that calendar, as ESPN shows future programming, and past programming for that matter, within 30 days only. Now, since the sport I want to view is not on the channel I selected for the next 30 days, I still want to watch handball, so I click on the replay button and see that there are no replays over the last seven days. I then select the last 30 days and we hit pay dirt. I scroll down to the particular day of the programming that I want to view, and I click the link for either Saturday or Sunday's handball block provided by the World Players of Handball and ESPN. You will now see that ESPN is asking me to verify my cable provider's information. I have had incidents, especially when using the Watch ESPN app on my smartphone, that once I log in there, I simply do not have to log in again, as the Watch ESPN website remembers my IP address and my credentials. This usually works probably about 90% of the time. Okay, since I'm a DirecTV customer, I make my selection. I'm now asked for the username and password. Make sure the remember me box is checked so you can log in more quickly next time. Now, your video player pops up and will load. Depending on your operating system and your internet speed, your viewing will happen in no time. Just like YouTube or other video players that you have, you can toggle full screen, scroll forward, pause, and even stop the video. Have fun playing with those features. Since these videos are recorded in blocks of time, you will be using the scroll forward button probably the most. Now, if you came to this video and wanted to learn how to watch a live video, not a replay, then no worries. You follow all of the previous directions. However, all current programming that is live right at that moment is located in the right panel. ESPN provides a maximum of 30 combined feeds at any one time. And fortunately for me, handball is one of those sports that is highlighted. Not right now, as you can see, but if handball were live right now, at this moment, you'd see the icon in the right panel. You would simply click the thumbnail image of the feature or sport of your choice, and it would pop up on the live video player. And since the video's being sent to ESPN in crystal clear high definition, it's being returned to the user in the highest of quality possible, which is a huge benefit to you. As you can see right here on the video screen, the video that's coming up on my player is absolutely crystal clean. Now, if by chance you do not have a good solid image, then there's a good chance your minimum viewing technology requirements have not been met. I suggest clicking the FAQ button after you first log in and see if your computer or device fits the bill. In fact, I even suggest you tool around the website before you get going and learn how to navigate through the website. You'll find a lot of cool features here. Thank you for checking out this video. We hope that you have a happy live or replay viewing session. If you want more tips, videos, or tutorials, just reach out to me, Dave Vincent, at info at wphlive.tv. Also, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share.